Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's video, learning SketchUp, we're gonna take a look at the hiding option. I wanna show you the different ways that you can hide objects. Also, I wanna share with you the best practices on hiding objects and geometry. This is a very important subject because most people keep hiding their a geometry or the object that they created and they don't know they don't know how to bring it back and also they get conflicting geometry so let's jump into SketchUp so I can show you a different way that you can hide an object and bring him back and see how you can apply that to your workflow in today's episode we want to take a look at the hiding option um, and also I'm gonna go over how you can access them you know how to can use it through the outliner tags entity and much more so let's just start with a few objects let's just do uh, one loose object let's just do another one we make it a group real quick so let me double check this make it a group so let's just call this one g1 and then also let's just do another one and sort of make a component of this so you can see the differences and then um, all the other items that let's just just do it c1 for now we're good with the other items so just a few items that you guys um, I want you to kind of pay attention the first thing so uh, this is one of the good usage of the outliner that you can turn stuff on and off using the outliner um, it's a very very good tool so as long as you have a group as long as you have a component you can turn stuff on and off uh, you can notice that this one is a loose object so it is not part of the outliner because it is not group so the outliner shows a group and component items so the next item that you can use to turn stuff on and off it's going to be the entity info right so basically you can turn it off the stuff goes away um, if you do not have that outliner is you have to go through this menu to unhide all or if you have an outliner you can bring it back so let's just do something right now let's say I'm not familiar with outliner I'll just do toggle go right here at the view um, you can see we have hidden objects hidden geometry and also if you can go under edit you have unhide so the unhide under edit is gonna unhide the last object that you have or you have like a two let's say object off and if I go to edit unhide unhide all everything brings everything back for you um, so let's just try a few more items and then I'm gonna basically tell you what is the best practice to hide items the problem is when you have multiple items you have a complex drawings if you do not put stuff in the tags or layers you might have conflict geometries that's gonna create a lot and lot a lot of issue during the problem so this one we call it component let's just clear the tag for it so this is the best way to have your items for on uh, turning on and off or hiding them so the next one let me do g1 and then also let's just put it on the g1 tag so best practice in my opinion it has to be outliner or tags so if you have like a bunch of groups or components if it's not on the tag but it's group you can use your outliner to turn them on and off if you have a group and tagged and you have a layer it's the best way to turn stuff on and off here let me make another one just in case okay so let me move that up let's make another group So this one we call it, let's say G2. And also I want to put it on a layer. So 
that's our first thing that we need to do for sure okay so right now we have component two groups and one loose object so sometimes people just right click on the items go hide they want to see what is inside what the items are and then also they want to bring items back and they can go to view if you put hidden geometry you can see it's basically show you what geometry has been hidden and you can right click on it and unhide and bring this stuff back so let's say if you're not using the tags or unhighlight and everything and you're basically you are hiding stuff okay so let me go and hide one more time so everything is gone uh right now let me just double check geometry it's just coming back and the reason that it does not bring those back because those are not loose geometry those are basically part of the group so what we need to do they're objects so you guys can see the difference right now between the loose geometry so don't get panicky when you see the items are not coming up because they're part of the objects or they are part of your geometry if it's loose it's a loose geometry you need to bring it back so if I uncheck this those are going away because those objects they're changed into groups or components and then this one is a loose geometry which is going to basically come back with this so um, let's say we bring stuff back you can right click you can see you can unhide them or you can just right click unhide it brings the item back right so you can also double that's why i'm saying like this is a great tool for you to use and if it's a loose geometry this is basically a best way to do it you bring the items back and then you can kind of unhide if you want to go section by section or if you want to select the whole thing and just basically unhide items and this is kind of happening with this so if i right now let me show you one more thing so we, we know heather right here it's basically a component so if i go and hide all and then get rid of objects and then geometry you guys can see like everything is basically gone and it's kind of going away so if I hit the geometry only this one coming back if you put the objects they're all back best way in my opinion as I mentioned these items and if you want to click this one on hide so let me show you one little thing so if I have these two grouped so we have so right now we have a nesting uh, we have two within one group so I have these two objects within these two groups so I can get rid of both which is you know just remove one so if I get the nesting you can see how basically just showing the geometry and the reason is because in the view I have it on so if I get rid of this it's basically just kind of going away right so no matter you are not using this because this is part of this big group it's basically going away and you won't be able to see so let me see so I'm in the group right now I'm gonna hide this right so right now I'm hiding this if I let's say I do not have the uh, high, uh, um, outliner I want to bring the object back you can see how basically bring the object back and it's gonna show you what it is and it's gonna show you exactly where that item is but again this is the best way to do it and sometimes when you guys hide items when you have group within the group within the group it does not show the object so you need to go inside the group to basically get the geometry on and then you basically see exactly what's inside that group so if let's say you do not have a group uh, like this uh, you need to be inside the group to kind of show the hidden object right so you need to select go inside let's say you have a big complex uh, actually drawings or model and you keep hiding stuff because you want to draw more and you have a group within the group if you're not using the outliner which is basically showing you the all the groups and the nesting groups you won't be able to see the items when you unhide them like go to this edit and see like unhide items right there you have to be basically inside the group to unhide let's just try it one more time i want to make sure that we kind of talking about this thing
so if I say I hide last you can see right here like I'm not seeing that items coming back so if you want to see everything you got to make sure you have these two things on on your view but sometimes people forget to have this on and then they keep looking for the items it's not showing up because you are not inside the actual group right so if I want to unhide items right here with kind of using the edit I have to go inside because right now if I go again hit all it shouldn't show me right it doesn't show anything I have to go inside hit unhide all and it brings it back because I'm inside the group so best practices you got to make sure you use your outliner you tag them so you can easily turn stuff on and off if you have a loose object that's a red flag in my opinion you have to have everything as a group or component in your SketchUp so let's say we do not have any loose objects uh, we have group within the group if some something is uh, uh, like a hidden let's say I'm, I'm hiding this um, and if I go over here and keep hit and hide it doesn't bring it back because I'm not inside the group you got to make sure you're inside the group hit the stuff let me just go inside the group hit it bring it back and then if you want to see all the items in your like all the geometry all the objects everything that is hidden in your view make sure you have these two items on hidden geometry and also hidden objects because even if I turn everything on no matter what you can see basically even if I hide these two guys uh, let me see yeah just unhide hide let me just select this one for example just hide that no matter what I'm selecting it's just basically just gonna show me that I have some geometry that I can see so I want you to kind of pay attention how to use the outliner, how to use the tag, how to combining these items. And also, if you want to see all the hidden objects in your models, make sure you go to the view tab and see all of those. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.